Guys, welcome. We have an amazing guest in the building. We got V Speech Thomas from the hit music group Arrested Development. Welcome, man. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm absolutely great. Awesome. Yeah, man, you've been working on some stuff. That's very <laughs> true. You're right. We've been working a lot. We actually just released a new album called Bullets in the Chamber, um, released in people have given it just high praise and a couple very influential hip-hop magazines have gave it album of the year already which is dope love it and uh, <laughs> for a group that's been doing this for 32 years that means a lot to us it really does and so yeah we've been busy and we're about to go on tour so yeah that's yeah. awesome man congrats to you guys on everything you're doing so let's talk about this album so it's a double album you got bullets in the chamber and you also got a single in there hip-hop saves lives yeah, so Hip Hop Saves Lives is a dream come true single for us because for probably two decades I've been wanting to work with Chuck D mm -hmm. um, from the group Public Enemy, Hall of Fame, Hip Hop Crew. And um, Chuck and I have been friends for years, but we never had a chance to actually do this together. And so Hip Hop Saves Lives is, a, is the track that made that dream come true. So um, not only that, we actually are doing a like a basically a charity project with the single where we've made t-shirts with a with a organization called Beats for Hope and we're donating the entire amount from the t-shirts goes to helping young girls, teens and adults to escape and to have safety from abusive situations and violent situations which happens more in Atlanta than people might think so we're really grateful that the music is incredible, the collaboration, but also this this opportunity to help, you know, so it's been a great thing. Yeah, I love that, yeah. uh, you know, helping out where you can, That, that that's awesome, that speaks volume. <laughs> it does, and you know, to me, it's been something that our group has believed in from, you know, the early 90s and late 80s, but to be able to, like, I actually went to one of the shelters where these women, you know, get to go to, and it moved me to just really want to do something and so people get a chance to wear a dope t-shirt which they can get this on our website arresteddevelopmentmusic.com they get a chance to wear a dope t-shirt and at the same time they're know they're knowing that 100 percent of what they paid for that shirt goes to these um helping women and teens and, and that just makes everybody feel good yeah yeah no that's definitely so important so i, so I gotta ask you the reason was the reason for this because you know of someone who was involved in a situation or something like that? that this Unfortunately, I do. Um, not only do I know some personal people, but I've had a chance to talk with those that are in the anti-sex trafficking work. So mm -hmm. I've had a chance to meet and have conversations with people that are on a daily basis on the front lines of helping those that have been unfortunately you know, trapped into this sex trafficking truth um, get out and then those that are trying to prevent it from happening in the first place so I, I don't know I just have a very close relationship to to what's going on in that space yeah. and um, so yeah it's 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 yeah so it's meaningful to me in deep ways yeah no I definitely applaud you for that and you know of course like I said it's always great to help out where you can and yep. it's good that you guys have took something so amazing as this song and then you got t-shirts and then the t-shirts proceeds are going to help people I exactly right which to me matches with the point of the song hip-hop yeah. saves lives you know hip-hop gets a bad rap for some things and some things it deserves to be critiqued but then there's other sides of it that people don't talk about a lot and that's what i think that this single sort of highlights yeah, no, I love that. I was actually going to ask you about that because there have been, like you said, and sometimes in hip-hop, hip-hop has received kind of like a negative connotation and stuff. Sure. And you're saying hip-hop saves lives. That's the name of the song. And I, and I love that you that you kind of took a spin on it and yeah. stuff. And so I yeah. was going to ask you, like, why, why did you name it that and how did you come up with that? Sure. <laughs> well, I think mainly because the narrative had become so strong that hip-hop is a negative force that I think there needed to be a counterbalance narrative. And groups like Arrested Development have been proving, in my opinion, that hip-hop saves lives and is positive since 1991 when we first came out. And that's been 32 years, so, you know, 33 almost. So, um, And then, of course, collaborating with Chuck D from Public Enemy, who also has saved so many lives in the sense of the content that that group has put out over the years 
And I, I must say, from a personal standpoint, it saved my life to an extent. You know, hearing music that's talking about really prolific and profound issues, it, it does help to widen your own worldview and it helps you to think about life in a different way, you know. And so, yeah, I think that all of those things made me really convicted that hip-hop has saved lives and does save lives. Yeah, yeah, man. Hip-hop is definitely saving lives. And yeah. I, I love that you guys are, are, are did this and you guys are doing this stuff. So, speaking of hip-hop, we just celebrated 50 years of hip-hop. Yeah. Amazing, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, tell me, what what are some things that you did to celebrate the 50 years of hip-hop? That's a great question. I mean, we, we had a chance to be part of the huge celebration that the Grammys organization did. Mm -hmm. um, it aired in December of last year. We recorded it in, I want to believe, September, um, November. And it was called the Grammy Salute to 50 Years of Hip Hop. It was on CBS. Um, one of the most incredible hip hop celebrations on mainstream TV in the history of hip hop. Myself, I mean, Arrested Development, Talib Kweli, uh, Queen Latifah, De La Soul, Common, Far Side, um, Two Chains, Akon, Chance the Rapper. I mean, so many artists that I'm. It's it's impossible to name all of them that were on this this special, and it was just incredible. It was absolutely incredible. Produced by Questlove from The Roots. Uh, LL Cool J from Rock the Bells, and of course, just legendary LL Cool J, iconic <laughs> LL Cool J. And also Fatima Robinson, who's an incredible um, dance choreographer and show programming director. And, you know, she's just, it was just a great team of people that put it together, too. That's what's up, man. Yeah. I, I love that. And so I know I know that Dallas Austin and Jermaine Dupree, they were doing a lot of things with, like, the museum and stuff. Did you check out the museum and stuff? Oh, without a doubt. That's another <laughs> thing that, that I did to celebrate the 50 uh, years. And not to mention a whole worldwide tour, but I'll get to that mm -hmm. in a minute. Jermaine Dupree and Dallas Austin created and started a, a museum right here in Atlanta to represent the history of hip-hop. And we were a very big part of that. Um, went to the opening night absolutely amazing you know the mayor was there i mean this was just it was just outrageous how dope it was and obviously so many artists from atlanta literally have put a, a stamp that will never be forgotten in the hip-hop space and right out of here from atlanta so yeah ti was there i mean you name it and then i mean we did um we went out on the field with the falcons and you know, did did all types of you know celebrate celebration type stuff with the Falcons. I mean, so it's been an amazing time. Yeah, I, I love that. Yeah, I remember actually seeing that. On, I remember seeing all y'all social media videos with y'all jerseys. On exactly, all we all out. had jerseys. We yeah. all had bling. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> like it was Falcons bling, and I like it was dope. It was just, it was just you know fun times, and 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 it just made you realize that I'm grateful to grow up in an era of life that had such a powerful music form, a, a genre be born out of nothing mm -hmm. and end up taking over the world, be the number one genre in the entire music industry, including or excluding nobody, including everything, mm -hmm. classic music to country to rock, all of which obviously have played a huge role in music in the past, and hip-hop surpassed all of them. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, and, the, and the big part about it is, like you said, I think you said 32 or 33 years you guys have been doing You yeah, have been in it for years. a majority. Exactly. We've been in it for <laughs> yeah. longer than we haven't been in it, mm -hmm. which is dope. You know, so, yeah, it's just, it's just an amazing time to live. I'm, I'm grateful for the time that I was born because, yeah. for me, I got to see it start. Mm -hmm. And I remember the days when hip-hop literally wasn't believed in by anybody. And I literally fell in love with it i became a disciple of hip-hop in a sense and you know from those days to now i've just seen it grow into this incredible monstrosity of music so yeah it's it's just been ridiculous oh yeah good stuff and it's saving lives, and it saves <laughs> lives right yeah. oh yeah good good stuff there man so and then talk to us about this tour yeah so arrested development it's a brand new album 50 mm -hmm. years of hip-hop we're about to head upon 160 dates throughout the United States, first of all. The United States dates, a lot of those are with the Roots. So mm -hmm. the legendary Roots crew out of Philly, uh, Questlove, Black Thought, um, us, 
and Diggable Planets, who is also an amazing group. And um, so all three of us are doing shows together. We're doing one show at the Hollywood Bowl, which has Diggable Planets, Arrested Development, but also on that lineup is The Far Side, The Roots, Queen Latifah. So that's going to be literally a show out of heaven to me for hip-hop heads. And then, of course, we have our own shows and tours that we're doing, which we did Europe and um, UK and Japan and Dubai last year. We're doing it all over again this year. Last year it sold out. These tickets are selling out. So it's just been a time for Arrested Development to just resurface in a way that, you know, the people are celebrating what we contribute. I love that man. Yeah. That that is fantastic. And then you like, you going internationally and you getting sold out tours, man. Y'all yeah. are killing it, man. Well, it's funny because um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate uh, it. I'm really grateful to the fans because mm. they believe in us. They have stamped us as a group that meant and means a lot to them. And so yeah, when we go over to like places like Australia, for instance, which we're going to and went to last year and going again, New Zealand, you know, um, Europe meaning Germany, France, Spain, you know, and of course all throughout the UK, uh, and Africa, you know, did South Africa and doing it again. So like all of these places just embrace us and they've, they felt like Arrested Development's music has meant a lot and, you know, we, we love them too. So it's very, very cool. Yeah, that's, that's great, man. And you said, didn't you say y'all went to Dubai too? Yeah, we went yeah. to uh, Abu Dhabi in particular okay. yeah. um, last year. This year we'll be going to Dubai. To Dubai. And um, we love going to the Middle East, you know, obviously it's a lot of turbulence, a lot of things that are going on historically in present day mm -hmm. in these areas. And um, we still get a chance to go. And it's important for us to go for, you know, just being able to show people entertainment again and just and, and, and move people with the messages. So, yeah, that's great, man. Yeah, I know. And, and then I always wanted to know, like, what is it like being out there on tour and stuff? Like, yeah. I feel like y'all get sleep <laughs> when y'all be when y'all yeah. be on the tours and stuff flying and you know taking the bus and all taking the bus around and stuff like that what what it being on tour like isn't that tiring how, how, how what is the tour life like like kind of give us an insight for me personally bro it is some of the best times in life because mm -hmm. when i'm at home which home is atlanta for me so you got friends family realities that are always coming at you when you're at home because you're right there local with the people that you love but when you're on the road it all simplifies so sure you're going from city to city night after night but the difference is and the reason it's peaceful for me is that you have one duty and one duty only you know all the other people can't say hey can i come over and do this or can you come by and help that's not an option because you're gone so when you're on tour your your main duty, your main point is to rock that show whatever night that is. You know what I mean? And it might be a show that starts at 2 a.m. You know, it might be a show that 2 starts 2 a.m. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But other than sound check and interviews, the rest of that day is yours and you just got to focus on rocking that show. And that to me is the beauty of the road. We also take tour buses. So for us, you know, you have a home away from home on a tour bus. It has a bed. It has lounges. We're watching what we want to watch on TV. We're sleeping throughout the day, so it's sort of a different schedule, but it's beautiful. And then to top it off at the nighttime and when the show happens, it's it's like a romance, you know. When you're when you're in that venue with the fans that love what you've contributed, it's it's a romance. Like they've been waiting to see you, you've been waiting to see them, and now it's finally happened. And it's like those scenes in movies where, you know. A man and a woman is lovers and they're like running in slow motion to meet each other in the middle and kiss or something. It's like that for a show. You know, it's like, wow. especially when it's sold out and when the energy is really high, it's like, you know, y'all you, been waiting for this. You've been waiting mm -hmm. for this to happen. And it's like, we've been waiting to see y'all. Y'all been waiting to see us. Let's do this. And yeah. It's magical. Yeah. I feel like fans, fans always want two things. They want a tour and they always want new music. Exactly right. <laughs> That's right. And, and we got both. both. Yeah. We got I, both. I love that yeah. thing. Well, it's in the Chamber album and this, this brand new tour. So, yeah. Yeah, that that's what's up. And I want to act like what one thing I've been noticing about this year seems like all of y'all going on tour. That's true. <laughs> like all y'all celebrity artists is going on tour. That's very true, and, and especially like artists that are over fifty and mm -hmm. forty five, and like because the truth is, there's been a resurgence of appreciation for what we did in the '90s 
throughout all generations. Like even young kids that are like 13, 14 come out to the shows that they can come to. And then people that's in their 20s and 30s want to come out because for them, they never, either they were young kids when, when we all came out or they never got a chance to really immerse themselves in this kind of era of hip hop. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of people that love it. And then of course, the people that are over 40 and stuff like that, they're all there just because that's the music they grew up with and they love it. And, um, you know, so it's, it's, it's a mishmash of energies and I love it. I love that, you know? Yeah, it's really dope. And we'll, even here in Atlanta, we'll be doing Chastain Park with the Roots. Nice. Um, I think that and was... when is that show? I, I want to say that's in August or June or July. I forget. But it's on our website, a, you know, ArrestedDevelopmentMusic.com. But then we'll also do a show in the city where I live personally called Fayetteville, which is on the south side of Atlanta. You live in Fayetteville? I live My in studio's Fayetteville. studio's in Fayetteville. Your studio's yeah. in Fayetteville? <laughs> yeah. Is it like a recording studio, like music? It's or? a production podcast studio. Word up. <laughs> is it in Trillith or where yeah. is it at? It's literally a few minutes. I'm like right in the square. So like downtown. Oh, Fayetteville. word up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got to visit your studio. Yeah. Support you. <laughs> but I'm in Fayetteville. So we're Arrested Development for the first time ever is doing a show in Fayetteville and I'm so excited about that <laughs> Fayetteville is not even a big town but it's a beautiful venue it's called the oh, Ville. It's so beautiful. and um, and uh, it's just I've gone to see you know Ziggy Marley and whoever at this venue and I've always wanted to do this venue we've been talking about doing it and our schedules never matched up and so this year for the first time in September we'll be doing a show at the Fayetteville um, what's called the Ville which is a really nice venue right there in Fayetteville. That's the amphitheater, right? It's the amphitheater. Nice. Man, so we're, we're headlining that. That's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm excited awesome. for that one. And me too. Because it's home yeah. for me. Like, this is where I this is where I hang out. This is where mm-hmm. I do stuff. And yet, you know, we're going we're gonna to be doing a show right up the street. And that's, to us, who travels around the world, this is mm-hmm. this is very meaningful, meaningful for us. Yeah. That is fantastic. I like that you're like, because, you know, a lot of people can say, oh, I'm doing it at home, and you just be doing it in Georgia, doing it in Atlanta, but you're doing it at home, home. Yeah, like, we're doing it that. right, like literally <laughs> roll out of bed and go to the venue type yeah, of thing, which is, is very fantastic. unique for us, and I love that. Yeah, man. Yeah, awesome. I love that. Yeah, good, good, good stuff there, man. So... Tell me, I know recently you actually were... Didn't you get an award at the Capitol or something like that? Yes, guys, yeah. I did. Um, very, very honored. You know, Georgia has meant a lot to me. It's the place where Arrested Development started. I was born in Milwaukee, but it's where I've had my children as well. It's where I've met my wife. And it's where the group that catapulted me into the dreams of my youth, it happened right here in Georgia. And so Georgia ended up giving me an honor... Um, of giving me an award, I guess that was uh, two months ago, at the Capitol. And I had never been in the Capitol building, ironically. I've been here for 30, I don't know, 37 years or so, and I never went to the Capitol building. And so it was just an honor to be amongst these elected officials and the people who came to support me. And to actually, yeah, it, it it was very, very special. Very special. Yeah, that's that's awesome, man. Especially like when you you're doing great things in the community, and then when you get honored for that, yeah. it got to be a good feeling, right? <laughs> it is a great feeling, and you know I said this to the news channels that were there that day. I never do the things that I do for these kind of honors or awards, but the fact that I'm doing them anyway, and then to get that recognition. It's the kind of things that for me, when I retire, I'll be hanging on my wall, and I'll look back to be able to just sort of realize what I put my energy into for 40 years or whatever amount of years I do this professionally before I retire, you know. Yeah. It's just an amazing, it's an amazing part of life. You know? It's a cherry on top. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I have a trophy case full, man. I can see. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I already got some now, so. That's I mean, a blessing, fill, bro. Yeah, just fill I've, it I've, I've, I've been told you are the man, like an ambitious young man oh, doing your thing, oh, so I'm you. proud of you, man. <laughs> I, I appreciate really am. that, man. I really am. That's awesome. So, uh, just to close it out, tell us exactly um, when does has the tour already started, or when does the tour start? We start our first date this Saturday oh, in, okay. in Texas. Oh, nice. Um, What's we it? are Waco. Waco, Texas. Waco, Texas. Okay, I've actually heard of Waco. Yeah, so Waco <laughs> is 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 where we start off. We are starting off with Big Boy from Outkast. Nice. And Z Trip, the DJ uh, that spins for many, many, many famous people, and of course himself. 
and Arrested Development. It's going to be an incredible lineup. Um, we're looking forward to this. We've been rehearsing not only for this per first show, but for our tour for the last two weeks, and we're excited. Yeah. Nice. So fans and fans can head over to the website to get tickets, right? ArrestedDevelopmentMusic.com will have the tickets not only for the Waco, Texas shows, but all the shows that I'm mentioning. Just scroll down, pick the city you want, and come see us perform. And that's including our overseas shows. We have vinyl records that will be at these shows as well. T-shirts, as I talked about, the Hip Hop Saves Lives T-shirt, the Arrested Development T-shirts and swag. And then we also have um, even some CDs for those that love CDs. And, of course, the music and the live. And, by the way, we're an eight-piece band. So, I mean, you know, when people think of Arrested Development, they think of the classics. But we actually come with drums, you know, keys, guitars, uh, bass. I mean, this is a full oh, band bang. situation. <laughs> yeah, it's not just turntables and a mic. Although I love turntables and a mic. That's not what we do. We, we come full, you know, full band, full power. I like that. Y'all make music. We make music, bro. It, it's Rock totally... Out. You know, it's a mixture of what's the best about hip hop and what's the best about just music in general. And we, we mix those two things. We got the scratching and the DJing and sampling, but we got live band as well, and we take it there. That's yeah. fantastic, man. So uh, what city are you most excited about? I would say it's um, Fayetteville because <laughs> it's home for me, you know. And, well, in one other city is, is Charleston, South Carolina. My wife Such is a, a Charleston place. woman. She's from a tribe called the Gullah, the Geechee culture, which is a very important tribe for black people in America. They're the one culture that when we were brought here hundreds of years ago during slavery, they were able to maintain African culture in a way that most um, uh, Africans were not able to do. They maintained a lot of African culture and their, their spirits and their, their culture has been historically beautiful. You can find most of them in the Hilton Head, Savannah area of Georgia. We're going to um, Charleston, which is also where they're at. And we're going to rock there. My wife's from there, so it's going to be a very beautiful show for us. I'm looking forward to those two cities this year. Yeah, man. That's, yeah. that's fantastic. Fayetteville and Charleston. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Charleston's such a beautiful city, too. It's Incredible city. Historical beaches. cities. I like Beautiful, beautiful beaches. Beach. Yeah, Bally exactly. Beach is my favorite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm look, I mean, it's going to be ridiculous for mm -hmm. us because... Like I said, my, my wife's from the Geechee Gullah culture, and they're all coming out. Then her That's whole awesome. family's coming out. The whole tribe. The whole tribe. Wow. So, yeah, and it's a beautiful <laughs> people. And, it's going to uh, be special. Yeah, it's going to be very special. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Well, that's, that's fantastic. And then um, where I'll go ahead and let everybody know where they can listen to the music, too. Our music is on every streaming platform. If you've never heard of Bandcamp, we love Bandcamp. It's another streaming platform, but you can buy the music there. And... Out of all the platforms that exist, if someone decides to buy t-shirts or records, a bigger percentage goes to the artist on this platform called Bandcamp. Band meaning B-A-N-D camp. And so we love when people support us there, but we're on all streaming platforms. Arrested Development, the new album is Bullets in the Chamber, and um, we're very proud of this music. It's beautiful. A lot of guests on this, this album, from Chuck D, who I mentioned earlier, to Diana King, to Razcast, to, you know, Cannabis. A lot of really, really legendary artists are on this record with us. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was looking at the list. I was like, wow. I like how they included a lot of people. We really did. This. I mean, we really did. And these are people that, you know, have proven themselves in this, in this genre. And, you know, we're just grateful that they even considered us, you know, an opportunity to do this with them. Yeah, for sure, man. Well, I appreciate you so much for coming in and talking with yeah, us man, about... Yeah, man, thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Talking to us about everything you guys got going on. Congratulations on the new album, the thank award, uh, the upcoming you. tour. Yep. <laughs> That's going to be fire, I already yep. know. And I'm going to have to see what date that Fayetteville show is. Mike. Yeah, Let's September. I want to say September 14th, <laughs> but I may be wrong about that. But it's definitely in September in Fayetteville. And um, I want to shout one more thing out, if you don't mind. Yeah, I have sure. a podcast oh, okay, that... Nice comes out next month it is called track change and it's a very important podcast to me um, it will be coming out on NPR and the reason I'm excited about it is I go into a jail and I work with what they call as inmates and um, I do music with them and we wow. talk about it on this podcast very important podcast the incarceration rate in the United States is the highest of any other place on the planet. So there's a lot of families that are affected by those that have been incarcerated, and there's a lot of people affected, 
and especially black people in this nation. So um, this documentary, or I should say this podcast, is just a special piece of work that I've been working on, and I'm looking forward for people to check it out. Wow. Yeah. That is different. Yeah. I like that. So yeah. you're going in the jails yep. and working with them on music. Exactly. I working with that. these that men and different. women on music. <laughs> and so many people feel like these people are, you know, just locked away and sort of useless. Mm -hmm. And of course, you'll see by listening to this podcast that they're, they're anything but that. And yeah. prolific artists, great music, and a lot of stories to tell. Yeah, and I always say, like, you know, because I watch a lot of them shows and stuff, but yeah. you gotta realize a lot of them people in there, they are really talented. Facts. <laughs> they Facts. just did. They just happened to just you yep. know fall on the wrong side. Of the fall track, on the but, wrong side of the tracks, yeah. and so that's why we call it track change. Yeah, I, I, man, you're creative, man. Come you, on, man. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I love your creativity. Thank man. you. And of course, of course, you put it into your music and everything else that you do. But yeah, Thank definitely. You. Very much. To you appreciate it. Being such a creative individual. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Yeah, man. So, and then working people, what podcast platforms is that going to be on? It'll be on NPR, and then, of course, on all of your various podcasts. Wherever you listen to podcasts, you'll be able to get it as well. Okay. Awesome, man. Well, yeah, like I said, thank you so much for coming in and talking to us. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, guys, make sure you go check out the music. And, hey, they're going to be on tour. So if you guys are coming to a city near you, make sure you Facts. go check out Arrested Development because it's, it's going to be hot. I, I, I can see. <laughs> it literally is amazing. People are going to be floored. We're coming with full, full, full power. Fantastic, man. So, yeah, make sure you guys go check that out and support the t-shirts going to a good cause. Go yes. ahead and give that um, t-shirt. Hip Hop Saves Live t-shirt. And um, you can go to ArrestedDevelopmentMusic.com and just click on It's right on the front page of our website. Click on that. If you want to get the t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, um, you can get any one of those. It's very affordable. And yet all of the proceeds, not one penny goes to us as a group. It all goes to helping teens and young women. Um, have refuge from violent situations. So, Good deal, man. Yeah, yeah kudos to you guys on that. Guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in and listening. This has been the Black Information Network on your home for 24-7 News. I'm Tyreek Wynn. Catch you guys next time.